hello and welcome to kareem's kitchen if you guys haven't already please subscribe and also click the bell notification for more upcoming videos today i'm going to be making the easiest and quickest churros so let's get into the recipe so the ingredients that you would need are 110 grams of butter three eggs one cup of water one cup of plain flour two tablespoons of sugar half a cup of sugar for the coating with half a tablespoon of cinnamon and for the sauce you're going to need some chocolate and one cup of double cream first of all you want to pour the one cup of water into a pan and let that heat up for a bit and to that you want to add in your butter and you want that to melt inside so I'm just mixing it making sure that the entire butter has melted before I go on to the next step. Now you want to add in your two tablespoons of sugar and give that a good stir until the granules of sugar have melted in. And to that you now want to add in the one cup of flour and keep stirring that until it becomes a dough like ball where it doesn't stick to the pan anymore. So as you can see within a few seconds it becomes thicker in consistency and over here you just want to again keep stirring. So this is the consistency you want at this stage and now turn off the heat and let this cool for about 10 to 15 minutes. While that's cooling let's make the coating so I'm putting on the cinnamon and also the half a cup of sugar and mixing that. And that's all you need for the coating. For the chocolate sauce, you want to heat up the double cream and put the chocolate into a bowl. And you want to pour the cream over the chocolate, making sure that it's hot so that the chocolate melts. So we're going to leave that for a few seconds and then start stirring. To make your sauce taste even better, you can definitely add in some Nutella. It would also make it more thicker in consistency. So once your mixture has cooled, you want to add in the eggs one at a time and stir it well, just so that it doesn't scramble. Again, making sure that it is cool, as if you put it into a hot mixture or into a hot pan your eggs will scramble and the mixture wouldn't work. So putting in our last egg and giving that a good stir, you can see a nice dough has formed, which is getting off the pan very easily. You then want to put the mixture into a piping bag with either a star tip or any tip that you would like I have a slimmer tip today, but you guys can definitely use a larger tip for them to look like store churros or the ones that you get outside. So now the churros are ready to fry. You want to make sure that the oil is hot enough. So over here, I'm just cutting the strips from the piping bag. As you can see, they don't have to be a completely perfect shape as when you're putting them into the fryer, they will change a bit. So you want to cook them until they're nice and golden brown. And as they're slimmer, they will cook faster. But if you guys are using a larger tip, it will take longer to fry. 
And now I'm just going to put the churros into our coating of cinnamon and sugar. I'm going to coat these generously as this is what makes them taste even better. And here are the absolutely amazing and delicious churros ready to eat with our divine sauce. So I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe and I hope you guys try this at home and let me know how you guys found it. And also don't forget to send me your pictures of the recipes you recreate and tag me on my Instagram to be featured on my page which is at creamskitchen underscore. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, please hit that like button and also subscribe if you still haven't and don't forget to share with others. Thanks for watching, see you guys in my next one.